Good Saturday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis on Periscope, Twitter, Google Plus, and YouTube. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. I'm down here in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. This is our exclusive video weather blog called Weather Overtime. If you'd like to see more about this, all you have to do is go to those websites right above me at wrg.com slash weather and also available on those other social media networks that you see on screen. More information about what's going on as of just about 8 o'clock in the morning, temperatures in the lower 40s northeast winds about 11. Today's forecast highs only in the mid 40s or so and tonight's forecast going down into the lower 30s with chances of rain, freezing rain, sleet and snow across the mid-south. Winter is not quite done with us just yet. We'll continue again to see the possibility of more problems tonight more than the rest of the day today so stay tuned for more information on that. Let's just go ahead and get right into the forecast. It's going to be what everybody's talking about throughout the rest of the day anyway. Throughout the rest of the day should be seeing temperatures up and down depending on how much cloud cover we get, how much rainfall is out there, stuff like that. Fairly breezy winds in the red bar and the screen up there. You see again winds pretty breezy out of the east northeast at about 10 to 20 miles per hour throughout the course of the rest of the day today. Now chances of rainfall in the blue bars up here, that again is going to be decently minimal, but it is still going to be possible. So if you have any plans for travel out there, your windshield wipers are going to have to be on. Remember that's state law. you got to keep your headlights on if your windshield wipers are in operation during the rest of the day to make certain you are visible to everybody else out there on the roadway. Rest of the day today, increasing chances of showers throughout the rest of the day into early this afternoon. Temperatures remain again above freezing throughout the day back in the lower 40s, at least here in the metro. This forecast is mainly for Shelby County in the Memphis metro area. Cooler to the north, slightly warmer to the south. We'll take a look at those conditions on the forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Rest of the day today, again, as we go throughout the rest of the morning into this afternoon, much of what we're going to be seeing in the possibility of anything frozen is going to be up into around portions of northeastern Arkansas and into around areas of northwestern areas of Tennessee. That up into around Kentucky and southeastern Missouri could be a bit of a problem for travel. There's a winter weather advisory, at least that was posted earlier today until about 11 o'clock this morning for those same areas. We continue again to see the temperatures down to the south. Let me see if I can adjust the maps here just a little bit so everybody can see more of what's going on. We do have again, there we go, temperatures again close to freezing well to our north. Temperatures just a few thousand feet off the ground are below freezing which is enabling again what you're seeing on screen here to take a look at the possibility of frozen precipitation several thousand feet up. But then as we go throughout the rest of the day, temperatures again back in the lower 40s are going to allow for mainly rainfall down to the ground. It may be snow way up here but as it gets closer to the surface with temperatures like this, it is going to be melting and just coming down as plain rainfall. Throughout the rest of the afternoon, relatively dry conditions, so chances of rain will be relatively light, but then this next surge of moisture starts to make its way on through. This one coming in from the north and from the west, and that's going to help to keep us within the possibilities of getting more rainfall in here. And notice also, right into around the area, close to areas north of the Mid-South, right in here, we start to see the changeover from all rain to rain snow mix as that colder air gets closer down toward the surface that is going to change over a lot of moisture out there where it comes to rain snow mixture so between roughly say about I-40 and about I-155 up around Dyersburg this is where we're going to be seeing again the possibility of that change over to rain sleet or freezing rain and snow mixed together now through about news channel 3 at 10 that line is going to be dropping on down into the metro area right along the Tennessee-Mississippi state line and back along I-40 to around areas of eastern Arkansas right around the boot heel. Now chasing that from the north back to around say southeastern portions of Missouri and into around Kentucky and the boot heel, that's going to be some drier air heading our way. So this is not going to be a huge blizzard-like multi-storm major event taking place. We will see the possibility of some precipitation frozen, yes, but it's going to be in that thin band that you see on screen here from roughly mid-Tennessee all the way over into around northeastern Arkansas. That line will drop its way into the mid-south, mainly around the metro area and close to the I-40 corridor as we go through about midnight tonight. Now again, that could be the combination of rain, snow, freezing rain, sleet, all that mixed together at various locations. When you put together the atmosphere in a certain way to where you get various types of temperatures in one level, various types of temperatures at another level,
level and that moisture falling through it. It could be snow, it could be rain, it could be freezing rain and sleet at various locations up there. It doesn't take much to get kind of a fruit salad going on of all this different type of precipitation and that's exactly what this line is going to be looking like as it gets on down toward the south and to the east. Now the dry air continues to chase this all the way down to the south so the possibility of anything involving frozen precipitation will be dropping down to the ground and moving away from the mid-south as we go into early tomorrow morning. By daybreak tomorrow with News Channel 3's Nina Harrelson and yours truly on the air at 6 a.m., most of the moisture should already be gone and heading away from much of the area, so definitely good news on that. But again, you've got to stay tuned to News Channel 3 for the updates on this situation as it applies. Again, if you're going to be traveling, this could be, again, a very difficult situation tonight. If we get enough moisture, there could be a lot of slick conditions out there as we get into very early tomorrow morning. So what are we looking at in the form of precipitation? The heaviest amount of snowfall as it creeps its way on down from the north, it settles into around the Tennessee Mississippi state line area. The heaviest potential for anything involving snowfall will be coming up again tonight into very early tomorrow morning. The heaviest possibility of snowfall will be along and north of I-40, and we're talking about an inch, an inch and a half, maybe, and that is, again, the very top of the very optimistic category where it comes to snowfall. A lesser chance and a little bit less of maybe just rain mixed with an accumulation of snow barely mixed together and maybe a dusting of a half an inch or less will be found between the Tennessee Mississippi state line and back to the north of that heavier area of precipitation there. South of that into northern Mississippi we're just seeing not much of anything taking place outside of rain. Yes you may see some rain and snow and sleet mixed together but it doesn't look like it's going to be a major amount of accumulation taking place. Likewise the potential for anything involving frozen precipitation as in uh, freezing rain conditions out there. We're not seeing a lot of that taking place either. There is going to be that potential of some of the moisture, if, if it's cold enough, sticking on the roadways and especially the bridges and overpasses, but the computer models at this time are just not showing much of anything in the way of freezing rain. So this looks to be a snow event mixed with rainfall and that's going to be the major possibility of this out there. So mid 40s today, that's going to be about as good as it gets. Cloudy with showers out there early during the day and then that changes over tonight to a rain-snow mixture. Heading into tomorrow morning, that rain-snow mixture sticks around as we go through about midnight, and then what's left of that dwindles into tomorrow morning around daybreak. By noon, everybody gets sunshine in the Mid-South, so we're going to be seeing a very short-lived event coming up with this. Showers in the Mid-South, maybe a rumble of thunder as we go toward Monday or so, and then getting into the rest of the week. Cooler as we see numbers drop a bit Tuesday into Wednesday. We're just not seeing a great deal of anything in the way of Arctic conditions, but this is going to be as cold as it has been for quite some time in the Mid-South area after record highs over the last several weeks. The colder air coming down off parts of Canada could be lending itself to a major winter storm around the New England area, so if you're traveling to, say, D.C., Baltimore, Philly, New York, Boston, in that area, east of the Great Lakes, you could be winding up with a lot of travel headaches in the next few days. All we get out of it is just going to be the possibility of some light rain and and also maybe some much colder conditions out there. Rest of the 10-day forecast warming up nicely, but we see the possibility of more chances of showers, maybe some thunderstorms into around Friday, Saturday, next weekend. That, again, is going to be about the bulk of it. Not much of anything else beyond that. Stay up to date with what's going on with the weather by getting our weather app. Whatever platform you've got, go to your app store and search WREG Weather, and that'll get you the News Channel 3 weather app. Good opportunity to keep up to date with what's going on with the forecast, as well staying tuned to News Channel 3 on air. Stay tuned for my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend. If you're in the Mid-South, stay tuned to Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network, and I'll keep you advised on that. And of course, don't forget about all the social media networks out there that we've got uh, in and around the Mid-South area. We'll keep you updated as to what's going on. We'll have updates throughout the rest of the day on social media. We'll also have updates tonight on News Channel 3 at 5, 6, and 10, depending on sports coverage. And of course, special coverage overnight as necessary and to keep you updated as to what's going on. Closings, there could be some of them tomorrow morning. 
We'll be keeping an eye on that into the overnight hours. So if there's anything that gets called in, we will let you know about what is happening there. But that will also be broadcast right here at WRAG.com slash weather for more details on that. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, live and direct Saturday morning's update of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. We're now going to finish up and go back to regular coverage. We'll stay tuned for more coming up throughout the rest of the day on News Channel 3. Thanks for joining me and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the day.